move on to chapter two now and let's take a look at how leaders evolve and develop. So the question that I get asked the most when speaking about behavioural preferences is, do they change over time? Sometimes on a jigsaw experience, I'll actually hear leaders saying things such as, well, if I'd have done this five years ago, it would have been very different. So Carl Jung is the psychologist who work underpins the majority of profiling tools that are available out there today. So over, according to Carl Jung, over the duration of an individual's life, there is a shift in focus on the different mental processes. And by different mental processes, I mean thinking, feeling, sensing, intuition, the things that influence a person's behavior. Now, initially, an individual tends to focus upon the strongest two mental processes, something which Jung referred to as the specialist stage. And then Jung says that later in life, there is a shift in focus as we actually start to become more of an all-rounder, more what he called the generalist, and work on developing some of our weaker or backup mental processes. I'm sure we've all either said it ourselves or heard other people say things such as, I'm much more assertive now than I used to be, or I've mellowed over the years. In reference to how they've perceived their behaviour to change over a period of time. So when considering behavioural preferences as opposed to personality styles, research has demonstrated that behavioural preferences are much more fluid. They can be learned and developed using what's known as the plasticity of the brain. That's its ability to create and build new neural pathways. Hence, new behaviours can be formed and developed. We also know from evidence neuroscience that the things we pay attention to develop in strength. Hence, if we believe about the way in which our mental processes naturally develop and integrate that with what we know about the plasticity of the brain, this can provide some real great insights into how we can develop leaders and their leadership behaviours to improve effectiveness within organisations. <clears throat> 